Hi everybody, it's hot, it's hot mess mama. <laughs> How are you? I uh, did a Facebook Live today about cleaning your vacuum cleaner and how I didn't realize how you really have to do more than just empty the tank or throw out the bag. And I was disgusted when I found out what I found inside my vacuum cleaner after I disassembled it and cleaned it. And so I put that out on Facebook and said to people, are there other things that I'm supposed to be cleaning that I don't know about? And people were saying things like, yes, you've got to clean this, you've got to clean that. And my friend Kara McGuire said, you have to clean your garbage disposal guard. And I was like, I don't even know what that is. And so I looked it up on YouTube and it indeed is something that we are supposed to be maintaining. And I did not know that. Like you're supposed to clean your garbage disposal. Who knew, right? So I'm gonna show you what I learned and you're gonna be grossified. You're gonna be grossified, I'm sure. I, I'm just, I, all right, here we go. There's the video. So apparently, and some models of, most models of a garbage disposal, you have this little gasket in here, see it? Okay, this gasket, it's called your guard. So when you put things down in your garbage disposal, this guard protects the water and other food particles from popping up in your face. So you just pull it out, right? And see that? That is disgusting. That's what we're supposed to be cleaning, that gasket, right? Okay, so we're not only supposed to be cleaning that, but they also recommend that you like get down in here and like clean this out because it's it's pretty darn gross, it's uh, yuck. So like I said, I looked it up and this is what they tell you to do. They tell you to pull that out, this that gasket thing out. And as I pull it out, I'm getting all this black gunk all over my hands and I'm a little disgusted. I think I might actually need to replace my gasket because it's starting to get a little bit bent. See how it's getting a little bent around the edges like that, like bubbly? You see that? Yeah, like I think I might have to actually replace this gasket at some point. But as I touch it, I'm getting all this black stuff on my hands and I'm already grossed out. So I've got my 409 multi-purpose cleaner with bleach and I, it kills 99% of bacteria and viruses, people. 99%. All right, so I am going to spray this puppy down Brand new bottle, spray it down, back some fronts. And on the tutorial, they had a woman that was using a um, toothbrush. Well, I'm sorry, I, I'm not I, I'm not down with that. I'm not gonna use a toothbrush. Um, I had another, <coughs> I have another brush that I use. It's, it's a toilet brush, basically, um, that I, but <coughs> it's a toilet brush that I'm using, but I use this for other cleaning the things other than my toilet. So I'm confident that it's okay if I clean my garbage disposal gasket or guard or whatever that they call it. And as I'm cleaning it, look at my hands. Look at that brush. I am about ready to Ralph. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to be cleaning this. I don't know why it's black like that. Maybe it's mold. I don't know. I'm just kind of frightened by the whole concept of that. So yeah, okay. I think I might be scrubbing this for quite some time. So I'm just gonna let it sit and soak in the bleach. And I hope that I'll be able to Look at that. Look at that. Look at my hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse it. I, 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 I'm horrified right now to see what's in my garbage disposal. So I'm gonna rinse my little splash guard off. So it's coming off the brush pretty easily, so it leads me to believe that it might have been, might be mold, because usually when mold comes in, you know, when mold gets toxic like that or it, gets, it turns black. I don't know. Or maybe it's oil or grease from the gasket. I, I'm not sure and I, I don't know. I just want it gone. So I'm going to keep scrubbing here for a second to see if I got most of it off or if it's going to show up on the brush again. Still kind of showing up on the brush but not quite as much. That leads me to believe that we're doing a good thing here. Right? Okay, so yeah, most of it's come off that end of the gasket. Let's see the other, I'm going to do the front side. See if there's stuff on that side. Not really. Okay, so that was the gross stuff. So for the most part, we got all the gross stuff off. Okay, and then what I recommend that you do is that you actually clean the inside of here. So I'm gonna spray this down really well with some, like I said, 409 multi-surface cleaner. And as I spray down there, I'm already getting some spit up and it's, ooh, okay. And again, I'm going to be using this brush to get down in here and to clean, they, they suggest that actually because it fits perfectly down in here and helps clean all the other parts. Okay, let's see what it looks like when I take it out. I'm a little afraid. 
It's not a kick down. That's my daughter getting in the way. Of the gross disposal. Okay, yeah. Black. Gunk. Scariness. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. This is what I'm cleaning. Oh, it's really, oh my gosh, and as I do this, it's picking up some really awful smell. So yeah, people were supposed to be doing this. Oh yeah, it's really awful. Even my daughter's like, I'm stinky. And I'm getting down in the disposal itself and swishing this thing around like you swish around your toilet in hopes that it's gonna, oh my gosh. As I pulled it out, it like literally spit all of this gunk up at me. I'm covered in garbage disposal gunk right now. Disgusting. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's gross. It's so gross. <coughs> that was my daughter giving sound effects. Yes, it's so gross. There's like an interior gasket on the inside of this. So I'm just squishing it around to try to get underneath the lip of that because I think that's where a lot of the gross is. She's laughing, she thinks it's funny. I think it's pretty gross. Okay, so. Plunger, you know what I mean. Wow, that was gross. Okay, so. Now that's just kind of cleaning the parts, if you will. You know, cleaning the gasket, the rubber parts. It's cleaning the rubber parts, like the gasket and then the, 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 the guard and then the interior like flaps that are here right so and i even kind of got some of the metal parts down in there with this brush now normally like i didn't realize that you had to do this what i was doing was you know some look at this this stuff like won't come off my hands i'm a little grossified um so normally what i do when i when i what i consider cleaning my my garbage disposal is like the holistic, not the holistic, but like the all natural way where you kind of, you put your the orange peels or lemon peels down into your disposal because of the oils and the acidity of it um, helps to naturally disinfect it. Or you put um, baking soda down in there, let it sit down there for a while and then flush it with hot water. Um, I've done that before too, but I didn't realize you had to take these gross steps to clean the gaskets. And I, I'm disgusted as I look in my sink right now. Um, another trick that I know that I've done before is that you can take a mixture of like vinegar and baking soda and lemon peels and you put them into ice cube trays and you freeze them and then you can use them. You pop them out like one at a time and you put them down in your garbage disposal frozen because the frozen helps to clean the blades itself. Um, and I've done that before too, but I have never done this like take out the gasket, clean the plastic parts with any kind of a brush or anything. And I'm, I think that this is something I'm gonna have to do regularly. It's, it helps with the smell, I guess. Um, but too, you know what I also have? I have, Miss, um, what is it, Mrs. Meyers clean, cleaning stuff. If you guys ever use this, this product, it comes in all a bunch of different sets and smells, but the ones that I want to have here is the, um, is it the, which one is it? Lemon verbena, verbena. I really like this because it's kind of lemony and fresh, but they also have other flavor or flavors, scents like lavender and um, which are really nice too. But I can only find, I bet you could probably find them at Target, but I can only find them usually online on Amazon um, um, or maybe even some specialty stores. But yes, use this because I'm going to spray it down here just because I like the smell of it. I'm hoping, you know, I've seen on some other videos that the people that were posting how to keep, that were saying, you know, this is how you keep your garbage disposal smelling good. These were people that were from Scentsy, you know, uh, those, the candle people. They were Scentsy people. Um, and so they were putting their like essential oils and sprays and stuff down in here from their Scentsy line. So I'm thinking, well, this, this will probably do in a pinch, right? So I'm gonna spray this down in there and I'm gonna kick up the blades. I never thought that my garbage disposal was smelly and, um, it probably wasn't, but all the while it was dirty. So don't be waiting for a smelly garbage disposal to tip you off that it's time to actually clean it because it could be dirty and not smell. So get on this, make it a regular thing. I don't know how often we're supposed to do it, but maybe I'll do it every month or every six months. I don't know. I don't know what the recommended uh, frequency of cleaning is, but I just know that I have never done it since I lived in this house and I've lived in this house 10 years. Okay, signing out. Please Public service announcement, wash your garbage disposals. Bye.